Hello, Leslie here with this week's new releases. They're going to go in the shop on Friday, October 22nd, first thing in the morning. So here we have a new sticker pocket for fall. It literally says autumn leaves, check, and pumpkins please, check. So we have both on here just for that little tag there. Now it is a fake tag. I know it looks like there's twine. I'm not sure how it looks in the video, um, but it is fake. It's like printed onto the paper. And then this washi right here has like wood cuts and then leaves and acorns in there as well. And then the back side, which honestly might be my more favorite part. I haven't decided. Has a brown houndstooth with a welcome fall and gold foil. Hope you guys can see that. And then it has a big gourd and pumpkins and then it has a wood grain background right here. So I like to call these sticker pockets, but you can use them to hold pictures or receipts in your planner. And then you just let me know if you want no tab, I can do that too. And it's just like this, or you can tell me what tab you want, whether it's for the Erin Condren or the recollections or the happy planner. And then I slide that in and glue it all together for you. So you can just snap it in your planner on the go. So that's really fun too. So there you go. That's one of the sticker pockets this week. I know I just gave away that there's going to be another one. So let's go ahead and do that one. So this one's a mini. You do not have to have a mini planner. It's just size to fit mini planners, but maybe you'd rather have a smaller pocket in your planner. I don't know. Um, this I find is perfect for like freebie sizes, or there are some shops that make like smaller sticker sheets that slide in here easily as well, or if you're just wanting it for receipts or photos. So this one has the teal pumpkin and I just love it so much. So it has teal plaid and then I went with the teal washi that has all these fall leaves around it. And then the backside of this one, has that lovely fall floral foliage on the back here that also matches a bow clip that we have in the shop and um, another sticker pocket that has this part as the front. So this one can coordinate with all things, all things. So let me go ahead and flip that over so you guys can see that. And once again, you can pick what um, kind of planner tab you want in that one as well. And now we're offering clear in case you missed that. Um, I always show this white one because it comes up better on camera, but I do have um, the clear option now as well. So. Don't miss out on that. And then we do have a new bookmark. I did do a coffee one last week, but I wanted to do another coffee one because this one is just funny. So it says, bring me coffee and tell me I'm pretty. And then I added some little coffee beans all around. So I thought that would be funny. Plus, I feel like we're getting in that weather where like even if you don't drink coffee all the time or maybe you only drink coffee when it's cool out, that's kind of like the season I'm in right now. So, okay. Next up, we have more pumpkins because pumpkin please, right? So here we go. We have a pumpkin bow. And I love this one. So it looks like the the bow is a pumpkin. That's what this makes me think of. So it has like the pumpkin over here and then it has this like copper glitter. And then you have like the leaf over here. And then the backside actually has the stem back here. And then it actually has some brown and white kind of plaid background there. But so you may see more of that or you may see just a little bit of it. But it's a definite pumpkin bow because it's turned the pumpkin into a bow. <laughs> and then I put mine on regular copper, but you can pick mini or regular. All right, next up we have one that was inspired by my flower garden. Um, so I did an orange mum a while back, and I do have some, like, I think they're called Brahms, Bra, Brahms, Bronze, I can't talk, <laughs> Bronze um, mums, and then I also got purple mums, and they look just like this, so I went with this one. So this is a plum color with a green stem right there, and then I did a green paper clip, but you can choose regular mini, and the back is just green. Sometimes I forget to show you the back. We used to take pictures of the back and then we were like, not anybody seems to care about that. So we kind of like stopped. <laughs> so yes, all the backs are covered. All right. And then to continue with fall and fall foliage, um, I had to do a fall tree. We already did a spooky tree. So I thought I would bring in a fall tree. So we've got our brown trunk and then we've got some red leaves and then the whole tree is yellow. I just love fall drives and fall walks where all the colors have changed. It brings me such joy. I don't know why. And then this one's a regular clip and it's copper, but you can choose either one. I do have this particular clip where the paper clip is all the way up here in case you want to know. So this will slide onto the paper a little bit more. I'm going to show you on this real quick. So it slides down over in case you want it to see. Okay. So it just worked out better that way and it fits better that way. All right, and then going into fall still with the leaves, I wanted to do a fall cupcake because I did the Halloween cupcake, but I didn't do a fall cupcake. So here we go. We have a yellow cupcake wrapper, and then we have chocolate leaves, and then we have a cream cheese frosting or vanilla because it's that, like creamy white. It's not the white white. And then I picked a little mini orange paper clip just to have more fall tones within the same paper clip. And then the back is brown because of the chocolate leaves. I don't know. I just liked it. There you go. We have a fall cupcake for all the fall cupcake and fall treats that we have this year. And then 
Last week we did a um, quote clip and I really enjoyed it. I really like it. I'm excited to use it. So I wanted to do another one. So this one is black and pink and it says spread kindness. So it's written in black marker and then it's got the pink cardstock behind it. And then I put mine on a regular size clip. So I thought that one was kind of fun. Not necessarily like seasonal, but I like to throw in some unseasonal clips as well. All right, next up was a request from Stephanie. She asked me for a leopard or animal print pumpkin. So I did it because actually my spread last week in my Erin Condren was like an animal print pumpkin. So I think that's when she asked me about it. Um, so I designed one. I sent her pictures of it. and I was like, how does it look? And she's like, I love it. So I'm excited. So it's rose gold and black. I think the picture I showed her, I actually did the front layer in purple. So I wonder if she thought I was going to make it in purple. Oops. <laughs> and then I did a regular rose gold paper clip here, but you can choose whichever one you want. And then the back is black as well. So this one was fun to make and design playing with where the animal print's going to go. That was kind of fun. All right. And then this next clip, our last clip is one that's very special to me. I made it because of my grandparents. Um, since I was little, they would travel all around the Midwest to Native American artifact shows um, and he actually won a lot of awards my grandfather did because it was like the table was in his name, but they did it together. Um, and after he retired, he spent most of his time searching the plains of Kansas and also even in um, like water and river areas because I know he had a boat that he would go out on too to find like tools and artifacts and arrowheads as well to like put in his shows. Um, and so I wanted to do a paperclip to kind of commemorate that a little bit. But they love learning all about the tribes in the Midwest. And then, um, um, this is kind of an emotional one for me. Sorry. <laughs> um, he did pass away a few years ago. Um, my grandmother is still with us. Um, I know I talked about a grandmother that passed away a few weeks ago. Not the same grandmother as far as that one goes. Um, but they really just love learning about Native American history. And actually, the first time they ever met my husband, um, they had come to Springfield to do a show. And I walked him over there to meet him. And then um, they found out my husband um, was Cherokee. And so they walked him over to like the other booth that they knew because they traveled around with these people. Um, and they were showing him Cherokee artifacts. And so that was kind of cool that we have that story with him as well. Um, but I will tell you, um, I think I, I'm going to go ahead and show you the clip. But my grandmother really likes the Cocopelli. So I don't know if you're familiar with the Cocopelli. Now, this is not a Midwest thing. It's actually a Southwest thing. Um, he is a um, Native American deity. I don't know if that's a key term for you there as a history teacher. <laughs> um, but with this one, so uh, I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> but the Cocopelli, um, the story is that he would trade his songs for new songs, and he was also somewhat of a trickster. But there's actually a variety of historical stories about him. As a history teacher, I'm always like looking at like okay, where is this from? Who's saying this and that kind of thing. So there's lots of variety to what he said as well. Um, but I thought I would go ahead and show you a quick picture of them as well. But she has these all around her house <laughs> is what I was going to tell you. So I grew up seeing these around her house and things like that. Um, and he even sent me um, arrowheads for a project of mine as well. So they very much included me in their research for, and maybe that's why I became a history teacher. I don't know. But here's a picture of them together. So here you go. So that's my grandpa Tom. That's my grandma Rose. They like to play cards. <laughs> so there you go. Okay, I'm going to try not to cry. Freebie. Let's talk about freebies and not cry. <laughs> okay, so um, I do have a few of the Raindrops on Paper Co. sticker freebies as well. And then I also wanted to do a pumpkin out of that um, like faux glitter paper that my son picked out that I did a leaf of. So maybe you snag that one. Um... But this one I thought would be cute too. It has the cut lines in it as well to kind of like show the bumps of a pumpkin. And then this is going to be available on a mini copper. It's only going to be on mini just because the size of the pumpkin. I'll show you guys. It's a lot smaller than even this pumpkin. So it is going to be on a mini. So there you go. So I know that some of you have had me do clips um, that are personal to you as well. So I mean I love doing requests. But this one is basically my own self requesting. So thanks. And don't forget, new releases will be up on Friday morning, October 22nd, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!